Okay, to start our drawing of the great wave of Kanagawa, first we have to make a couple of marks on our paper to find out where things begin. Now I'm going to be drawing this with a Sharpie marker. You should start with a pencil because if you make a mistake with a Sharpie marker, you can't erase. I'm using a Sharpie so you can see my lines clearly. If you want your lines to be bold, use a Sharpie after, trace over your lines. So first I'm gonna mark my paper into areas so I know where my waves begin and end. I'm gonna separate my paper into three areas on the left-hand side. I'm gonna make a little mark about a third and then another third, so there's three separate areas of roughly the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same size. Just as long as you're separating it into three areas. After that, I'm going to start the top of my biggest wave I'm going to draw a curved line that goes all the way like this and over to about the middle of my paper. And I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to draw the wave underneath the big wave. I'm going to start from the second mark. And I'm going to go up and like this and then all the way across. Now, in the distance, I'm going to draw Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji's in the background. Let's put one more line here first for another wave like this. And then I'm going to draw Mount Fuji and put some snow on it right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these little claw-like wave texture marks at the top of my wave. So all these little claw-like shapes at the top of the wave. If you look, the, look at the example by Hokusai, his original work, you'll see all these little crazy marks and they come out, and they reach way down. And they just keep going way down. And they don't have to be exactly like mine. Yours don't have to be exactly like mine. Just want to get a lot of little curvy claw marks at the top of that wave because the top of the wave almost looks like the claws of an animal. After we get some of these claw marks established, you're going to go right about here and come down and make a curve. So we show the shape of that top wave. Over here, we're going to reach out again with some more of these crazy little claw marks. They almost seem like fire. They almost don't even seem like water. But this is how Hokusai made his drawing. We're going to make some more claw marks that go back. And again, they don't have to be exactly like mine. They don't have to be exactly like Hokusai. Everybody's work is different. I just want you to try to emulate what Hokusai did as much as you can. Put some more over here, some more back here. Now I'm going to draw some lines that show the shape of the wave. Now these little claw marks are the white part of the wave, so we don't want to draw through them. This is the darker blue lower part of the wave that we're drawing right now. We're just making some curved lines so we know the shape of that wave. Okay. In Hoku Hokusai's original drawing, there's like the tip of a boat sticking out over here. You can draw the boat if you want to. You don't have to draw the boats. You could have something else in your water. You can have sharks. You can have a person on an inner tube or a riding a jet ski or surfing. You could do any number of things. 
So this is the top of the other wave. So I'm going to put some more claw marks up here. I'm going to start right here and draw a line that goes down so we can make more waves. Then I'm going to come way over here and draw another line and I'm going to meet this line and go straight up like that. I'm going to draw another wavy line here, another wavy line here, another one there. Okay, I'm going to put some more claw marks there. I'm going to put some more claw marks on my wave down here. I keep calling them claw marks. They're really wave marks. But they look like little claws in Hokusai's painting. So I'll put some more there and there. And the wave coming around. Now there's a bottom to this wave too. So I want to show some of those lines. So the wave curving away. Put a couple of lines here. Again, I want you to be creative. If you have some details in mind that you would like to put in this drawing, like some, like a character you know floating on the water in a boat, or like I said, someone surfing, or maybe there's a beach ball floating on the water. You can add whatever details that you would like to add. Okay. Some more little claw shapes on the top of this wave. Some more wave lines. Okay. Now I didn't put all of the boats that are in the original Hokusai drawing. I put one over here, part of a boat sticking out over here. There's another boat in the drawing that kind of goes right here. I can use this little wave shape to make the end of the boat. And there's some people in the boat, riding in the boat. Okay, so after we get finished with our drawing, we're going to go back with color. You can use any color that you have available. You can use oil pastels, you can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils, whatever you have available at home. Okay, I hope you have fun drawing The Great Wave of Kanagawa by Hokusai.